July night. Been going about a half an hour. Come to my first uh, rock hopping. Trail goes up there, you see the blazes, and then it switches back. Probably switches back all the way up. It's supposed to be a good view up there. So I'll have to get a whole get that some film when I get up there. But everything seems to be working right. I'm a little low on water. That's really I got another oh, almost two miles to where there's a spring. Now I'll take a break there. Alright, see ya. Actually. You can see where I came from. It's uh was a nice fairly nice trail. This is gonna suck a little bit, but that's the way it goes. Alright. Bye. Here's that outcropping. It's almost a mile from camp. And uh, I'm going to try to see it again because it's. I just did see it. Okay, right there is the High Point Monument in New Jersey. And uh, I'm not sure. It might be Unionville over here, but. Can't really tell. That's the swamp I came across yesterday. So today's supposed to be 11.6 miles. So I got about 10.6 to go. Go through the town of Vernon, New Jersey. And uh, a couple of springs on the way. The next shelter have, doesn't have water either, so I gotta fill up about a mile before the shelter. This time I'm filling everything up because last night uh, I really wanted more water and I didn't have it to give. I had to save some for today. I'm running about, probably got about a liter left right now for the hike to the spring. And uh, so this is the top. All that rock scrambling. Wasn't too bad. I didn't expect it to be this tall this morning though. Should have looked at the map closer. Well, it's a nice view. Probably only the few I'm going to get today. So I thought I'd share it with you. Well, I'm going to take a small break and then uh, get back to it. See you later. Well, here's the that famous boardwalk. I guess it goes about 0.9. Looks like it's all in the sun. So I'm going to head across. I was hoping there was concessions here so I could grab a Coke or something. But up there and I'll walk a little ways on this and if it gets too boring I'm just gonna shut it off and turn it out at the other end. It's a nice little walk I guess. Only ran into one hiker so far the lady probably my age maybe a little younger Stayed in, she stayed in Unionville last night, so on top of the probably the four and a half miles I've done, five miles I've done now, she did another five and a half because she came right from the town. So. She's gone, long gone. She's taller than me. She's whooped right along the trail. Short legs are a little disadvantage out here. You just gotta work a little harder. Of course, having the extra weight doesn't help. I already feel like I've lost weight. This was one of my one things I did want to do. I wanted to see this. So I can check that off the list. Um, I get into New York, there's a thing called Lemon Screes. I wanted to see that. Although my trail partner from last year, Shotgun, he wrote me and he said, yeah, you're, good. you're in for some good trails, except when you get around the Lemon Squeeze, he thinks New York's trying to hurt us. I thought that was kind of funny. 
especially coming from Warren or shotgun rather and uh, the possibility when I get up to I think it's Dalton Mass that's where Warren got off last year and he said if, he, if I can and the dates line up you come down and finish uh, Massachusetts with me and we'll end in Bennington Vermont so far I don't see any reason why I can't my attitude would be about the only thing because everything seems to be working but I'm already like 10 miles into the hike so the hills haven't been too bad Got a couple more today. Well, if there isn't any concessions, I'm probably gonna hopefully there's a picnic area at the end of this I can sit down and eat my lunch. Didn't even do that yesterday. I had a such a short hike. I did a protein bar and a ton of water. I was short on water this morning. First two water sources I came to were dried up. The next one was next to dried up, but it was enough for me to fill up my bottles and my my bladder that I hydrate with. So, I think I'm going to shut this down and I'll get back to you. Well, some of the views from here. I don't know how far much more I got, but it's, I'm getting into some trees, so I'm wondering if this is the end. I'll get back if it is. Yep, looks like the end. In the shade. It's getting kind of hot out there. Yeah, a little disappointed. I thought there'd be concessions or something around here. Because it's kind of a unique, you know, 0.9 long. I to call it a mile. Well, that's the way it goes. I got people coming up behind me running. Oh, there's some more. Thought that was kind of short for 9.9. Wish I had something to talk about, but I really don't. Other than my visit with Charlie was good, except we stayed up too late. <laughs> I was falling asleep during the drive down to here, and it's not that far. coming well I'll shut it down again boardwalk um, you got about another quarter of a mile quarter of a mile yeah yeah pretty much that tree line okay thanks have a great time you too there's a bridge going across this I think it's wall walk hill river or something like that Out on this. Of 
compressions only. Huh. Pretty good. Then I had about a quarter mile that goes to the tree line over there. Okay. See well, looks like I'm at the end. Hope there's something up in these trees. Surprised there wasn't too many bugs. I think I had more bugs on that last hike before I hit this last section. Well, I see another little boardwalk. I'm glad when this is over. It's time for lunch. Uh, it looks like this is more of a bridge than anything else. Oh well, and there's my trail marker. Very good. Well, I didn't find a picnic spot, but this rock wall had a nice couple flat rocks for me to sit on. Gave me a table to make up my lunch. My little tuna wrap. This particular one happens to be hickory smoked. Be pretty good. I brought two today because I didn't know if I was going to want to eat two since I didn't eat it yesterday. So I still got six miles, so I think uh, I'll eat this now, and if I feel like eating two, I'll eat another one and maybe just save that for a couple hours from now. i tell you, the tuna, it, it boosts me up after about 20 minutes of eating it. It's like somebody supercharged you. I think it's, you know, your body just starts telling you it needs more. But I got six miles to go yet, a little under six, and I'll be at the shelter. Yeah, and I gotta fill up with water beforehand, about a mile before the shelter, because there's no water up in the hill. Okay, well, I see just you thought I'd give you some of the trail. It's only about a 600 to 700 foot climb here. The trail's been like this for the last half mile. I'll be taking a break at top. This is only, oh, maybe a mile from where I had lunch. So maybe I'll have a second lunch when I get up there. Find a shady spot and a nice rock. What the uh, upward and onward. See ya. Oh yeah, today's July 8th, 9th, Oops. sorry. Well, here's a view from, I don't know, some little knoll. If I was, uh, I guess I could figure it out here. It's a view, come on. It's a view north. That's all it tells me. So I'm not really sure what I'm looking at. Hear that? My pole's wrapped. I still got 2.4 miles to the shelter. And uh, 1.6 to the my next water. Got water on top of that last mountain. I'll tell you, it was a bear. And there was a lot of people out being Sunday to hikers. It's about a, I don't think it's a mile, but it's close to a mile, but it's all rock climbing all the way up. I was really surprised to see people. It took me a lot longer than I expected. So I'm behind. Then I met a hiker that was tell, could tell me all about this trail that I'm on now. And he was right, it's not too bad. I'm just getting tired. And uh, two and a half miles, it could be five. Well, it's quarter four right now. So we'll see if I can, how I do. Quarter to four, looks like 6.30, quarter to seven before I'll get there. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. And there's supposed to be trail magic at a road and a half mile with soda, so I might even partake if there's any left. But this part of the trail's been pretty bare, but I'll tell you that part where they, there was a parking lot that probably held 50 and there was probably 100 cars there and there was a easy over 100 people climbing that trail so it was just like a, a you know, stall stop traffic. and let people by because it was steep and it was 
they had uh, rock stairs built into it. So, uh, you know, and then, uh, took, a, took a while, that's all I could say. That's the way it goes. Okay, catch you later. Bye. Wanakina or something like that. This is the shelter area, privy. Two people came in while I was uh, in there, so I, I'm just going to kind of close the day here unless I get onto it later. Um, wasn't paying attention to my guide, and I did this climb that's called the Stairway to Heaven. I'll let you figure that one out, but I can tell you one thing. It was steep and boulders. They built a bunch of steps, but, you know, they're all uneven. And uh, it's a very popular place for locals, and uh, there's had to be over 100 people in the trail at one time. So it was a lot of kids screaming and parents trying to corral them in. It was kind of funny. But when I got, there's a side trail to the peak that everybody went to, and I figured I just didn't want to put up with that, so I kept going. So I didn't get you the grand views. But, you know, I was tired. It's been a long day. It took me the 11 hours to do the 12 miles, so 11.9 or whatever it was. And uh, the last uh, couple of miles been was fairly easy, so I just kept going. And uh, right now i got to go set up camp, get dinner going. And then uh, see if I get a signal and call my wife. Okay, see you later. Bye. That's the shelter I'll be in tonight. This is the second day of my summer hike, July 9th.